Hi and welcome to my playhouse and as you might hear in the background it's raining and it's summer here but well we could really need some sun and a matter of fact I have some on the table I have got my hands on two sun servers the 2U one here is the model T5220 and the 1U model here is the T5120 here is a closer view of the front of the server. This one has hot drives here and here. Over here there's room for additional six hot drives, but these are just fillers. They're empty bay things. Nothing in them. But this one actually has ten hot drives in it. Oh, I didn't do that right. I'm in no way an expert on Sun servers. Let's go up here and see a little model. This one has four hard drives in it. One, two, three, four. CD-ROM drive slash DVD drive in both models. And I have had these open and it's very fun to see that they're almost alike inside. Except this has like, um, it's double as high. And here in the back we can see there is two power supplies on each of them. Slightly different models. The little one they're side by side and the big one they're on top of each other. And then there is two management ports. There's a serial management port for serial connection and there is a network management core port. And the same thing up here at the smaller model. There's a serial management and a network management. There's also four one gigabit ports on each server. Over here there's a serial connection right there and down here there's another serial connection on the big server and I have to, this one is damaged, I have to straighten that out a bit before I attempt to put power on this. There's a couple of USB ports, look at how the serial port and the USB port is at the same location, I'm pretty sure it's the same system board inside the two servers. Also there is, there is three slots for PCI expansions here and the same thing is true down here. The only exception is there is two on top of each other here. But the, the three spots can be copied down here. So uh, extra there is like three light diodes over here to see the status of the server and that is also replicated up here. On top of the cover, both of the servers has almost identical stickers. They have, they have changed the server on the stickers, but more or less all the all the stuff is exactly the same. The the drawings are a little bit different. There is only half as much on the little one. And there's double as much on the big one. There's all kind of good instructions on here how to how to use the, the cable management behind the server, how to exchange hard drives, how to pull out the, the trays, and how to put in hard drives and what not to, and how to mount it in the rack, and how to exchange fans, and, and it's exactly the same over here, more or less. There's even a button how to exchange the CD-ROM drive. Did see that one at the first catch, but... Um, there is a sliding door here, for going into the server. With this door you can you have access to the fan blowers and there's a difference here between the two servers. Notice the size of these fans. When we go over here because of the height they're obviously half the size in height. So I'll remove the covers and we will have a look inside. Okay when the sliding fan door thing here is open, there's a little button here. When you press that, you can move the cover back. On the inside, there's a lot of additional things on how to, how to put in extra PCI slots and change the processor, put in RAM and stuff like that. This server is equipped with one processor. There is not room for any more processors. Um, apparently this is a 8 core 1.4 gigahertz processor with 64 threads 
and I'm not a sun man so I have no idea how fast that is. There's a plastic cover here that is not very easily removed with one hand. But I'm gonna give it a try. That gives a better view inside. Uh, the one I got here is equipped with four RAMs, uh, memory DIMMs, and each of these are two gigabytes. So this server is equipped with eight gigabytes of RAM. And here we can see the PCI riser card. And apparently there's, on this one there is one PCI X8 and one PCI X16. Over here there is two PCI X8 and over here and there's something here. I have no idea what that is. I will have to look at the drawings to see if I can figure that out. But otherwise this server is really packed with stuff. There's a lot of stuff down here. Especially I like the way that the power module is done over here. There is like the power supplies are here and there's a plus lead that comes out and there is a minus lead that comes out. And then minus is directly down here and plus is directly over here. Then there is some kind of a power converter here that distributes the power. And down here there's a, a red that's always plus and there's a bluish and that's always minus. We see that, we can see that. And those leads go over here and are put onto the system board right there. So probably there is 12 volts right there. And then there is different power modules making power for everything on the system board right there. I'm not sure how much, I think this is probably some kind of a filter and power management stuff. I'm not totally sure. Let's do the same stuff with the little server. Move the cover off and see that the drawings are there. And I'm just gonna put this one over here so I don't mix them up. And now we can see that these boards are very similar. Just see if we can get them both into frame. Very similar. The power supplies, they're, they're a bit more wide than over here. There's a little bit of wasted space along the side here, but otherwise the, you get exactly the same over here. One processor, there's even eight gigabytes of RAM in this one too. The plastic thing down here is smaller. Everything is not as tall. You can see the riser cards over here is like, they, they go up down here, they're flat. And that's why there is only room for one one expansion card on each of them. Nice. But otherwise the, the system with the power is exactly the same over here as it is over here. Here it's also easier to see that the fans are flat and over here they are taller. The rate controller is based on the motherboard of the of this one. This one goes down to the to to the system board or motherboard. Over here, there's a dedicated RAID controller to, to manage the disks. And that's probably because there is more disks in this one. There was the 10 disks in this one. So that's probably why there is a dedicated RAID controller for those. But otherwise, it's exactly the same. Well, so this is a quick look into the two Sun servers that just happened to fall into my lap. And um, hmm, I must really admit, I have no idea what, what to use these two Sun servers for. I've been asking on my Google Plus account, uh, where a lot of you guys that have subscribed to me is, is hanging out. And um, having, nobody has really told me yet why I can't live without these two Sun servers. So if you, know what exactly sun server is just the best in the world and will kick ass to any intel servers like uh, i normally work with the x x86 series of intel processors and um, i know i think i know that sun servers are really good for something like databases and web servers and stuff but if you could please tell me why these are so great 
I would be I would really appreciate that. Do use the comments here below or go over to my Google Plus page and tell me over there and I would much appreciate it. Thank you for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again here doing stuff and have a really nice day. Bye bye. Thank you.